Legal dumping is a problem for almost every city in the valley. However, McAllen officials tell Action Force Ashley Custer there's a fine line between recyclables uh, for curbside pickup and an illegal dump site. She has more. At first glance, this pile may not look like a big deal, but according to the city, when you combine furniture and brush together, it makes for an illegal dump site. And they say it's something they're looking to put an end to. Illegal dumping is a common problem. McAllen City officials explain they do recycle goods like furniture and brush. However, they need to be sorted and in separate piles. When these goods are placed together, it's a code enforcement violation. We have different trucks that pick up, and their route might be just brush pickups. So that's what they're going to pick with that uh, truck. And that's why we ask that you separate it. We also ask that you place it away from obstacles. Don't place it near a gas meter your water meter, a mailbox, a parked vehicle, or next to your blue and black bin, because that will uh, hinder service. City brush and bulky waste pickup curbside services are once a month. However, if you don't want to wait for pickup, you can also bring those materials directly to the recycling center on North Benson Road. Just be sure to bring your water bill to verify that you're a McAllen resident. Now, you can get cited for illegal dumping. However, fines depend on the judge, but they can range all the way up to $1,000. For now, in McAllen, I'm Ashley Custer. Action 4 News. Ahead on Action 4 News at 6, how McAllen is employing a new method to catch violators.